I am gonna show you a method that will give you 20 outfits and it all fits in a carry-on. So I recently went to Hawaii and as I was kind of getting ready to pack, I found the 333 method and that is a method created by Rach Speed. I will put all of her information here. She is the brains behind it. And what I basically did was took that method and kind of made some adjustments. For those of you who don't know the 333 method, you take three tops, three bottoms, and three pairs of shoes, then obviously some accessories and then basically make as many outfits as you can. I think somebody has gotten to like 17 or 18. You can make quite a few different ones. Obviously you can adjust this depending on where you're going, but I just didn't find the 333 to be that conducive to a hot tropical place. So basically what I did was made it into a 4221 method. Obviously you need to include like a bathing suit. A lot of people would want to bring a dress on a tropical vacation. So I wanted to include those things. Instead of the 333, we now are going to take four tops and one of those tops is a bathing suit that doubles as a top. I recently started using my bathing suit as a top while on vacation and it's honestly been so nice because it's really easy to like throw on a pair of shorts or pants, especially with my son. It makes it really easy. So we've got four tops and that includes one bathing suit, two pairs of bottoms. I just didn't find that I needed three. I don't really wear skirts. I kind of tend to wear the same bottoms anyway. We've got two pairs of shoes. Let's be realistic. I am kind of going to wear flip-flops the whole time. And then the last one is a dress. I'm not always a dress person, but I do really like to have a dress on vacation, especially if you're going out for like a nicer dinner. You know, you can even wear it with flip-flops, but that was something that I really wanted to add as well. And also this is a very realistic packing list for me. Like I know what I actually wear on vacation and I didn't want to bring anything that I just wasn't going to wear. Everything is so full foolproof and easy and laid out for you. You can even like take photos of all of the outfits before you go. Then you have all the combinations and you don't have to worry about what you want to wear on vacation. I found that to be really freeing, especially as somebody who works in fashion and like always feels like I have to look good. I just felt like I could really easily go to any of those outfits and feel good about how I looked. I just found it to be really freeing. So I'm going to show you the pieces that I brought with me and then we're going to try and make at least 20 outfits together. So for tops, we've got my bathing suit. This is a one shoulder Hunza G bathing suit. It's my absolute favorite. I feel really comfortable in it and it also doubles as a top and I just find it such a versatile piece for vacation. And then we're also gonna do a plain white t-shirt. This one is from Lululemon. It is one of my new favorites. It's got a little bit of stretch in it, which I love. It's super, super soft. And I also really like the neckline. I'm kind of picky about necklines on white tees. I know it's a bit weird. So we're also gonna do a gray sweater. This is the fisherman sweater from Jenny Kane, one of my favorites. I'll just preface this. All of these things are my favorites. These are the things that I wear all the time and that I feel like I'm gonna wear all the time on vacation. I also tend to get cold at night. Depends where you go, obviously, but Hawaii is not always super, super hot in the evening. So I definitely wanna have a sweater. This one I got from Gather. It's a vintage Nautica top. And I basically wear this as a cover up all the time. Time, but it doubles as a top in a lot of ways. So for bottoms, we're gonna do a pair of black wide leg pants. These ones are from Zara, they're kind of old. Honestly, wouldn't recommend. I am not really shopping at Zara anymore and they're also not great quality. I did recently order a pair from Lululemon. I just have to switch up the size, but I will link those ones because I really, really like those and they're a nice light fabric. And then the other bottom is a vintage pair of Levi's shorts. For shoes, we're gonna do sambas and a pair of black flip-flops. For the last piece, we have a black strapless maxi dress. This one is older. It's from Naked Fashion.
collection. I have this in black and cream. It's my favorite. It rolls up really small. For accessories, I'm gonna bring my everyday jewelry that I wear. All of these are from my heritage collection. Just got some piercings done. I'll link that if you wanna see that video. So I did actually wear all of this jewelry the entire time on vacation, running, swimming, everything. These are all solid gold. Well, I didn't wear it snorkeling. That's the only thing. But I wore it at all other times. Also got this heritage solid gold necklace and then my heritage rings and my engagement ring. I'm gonna bring this hat. This is secondhand from Gather. Sunglasses. These are Bonnie and Clyde. I got them on sale. They're kind of like Loewe-esque. A brown belt. This one is vintage from Gather. And then I'm gonna bring two bags. Basically the reason I'm gonna bring two is because I need something that's a little bit bigger as a beach bag. So this one is from Negetti. I love it. It's some kind of like almost scuba material that's woven. It's really cool. And then it does also have a strap, which is really easy when I'm running around with my son. I can just kind of throw it on and not worry about it. And then I'm also gonna bring this Acne Studios bag, more for like going out when I wanna look a little bit nicer. Okay, let's see how many outfits we can make. can't believe we got to 23 outfits. If you guys do try this method, please let me know. Please tag me. I would love to see it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe for more style, beauty, and lifestyle content. I do have a lot more home reno content coming. That is really exciting. And I'll see you soon. Bye.